Just one win all season between Sunderland and Derby going into this one at the Stadium of Light. And for the comeback, Kings Derby, a label they wanted to lose. Indeed, they had the better of the first half. And when Dion Burton was blocked, he teed up Malcolm Christie. Only to be foiled by returning keeper Thomas Sorensen. Sunderland hadn't won since the opening day against Arsenal. And something special was overdue after four games without success. That was certainly pretty special. Kevin Kilban's first of the season. Don Hutchison was as close as they'd come. But it stayed 1-0 at half-time. Sunderland's threat increased in the second half as they grew in confidence. Needless to say, it was the combination of Phillips and Quinn that led to their second. Phillips' day, most definitely yes. Hutchison's day, well, unfortunately not. It's ten years since Derby last won in Sunderland. Surely they couldn't come back again from two down. Malcolm Christie's goal, seven minutes from time, certainly had Sunderland worried. And after both teams had earlier penalty appeals turned down, Sunderland were probably most aggrieved when Niall Quinn got clattered. No penalty given, but it didn't affect the outcome. And Derby are still without a win. Sunderland 2, Derby 1. Two really good goals, you know, a great one for Kevin, uh, cutting in Kevin Kilburn. And then I think uh, Kevin Phillips played a 1-2 with Niall and he stuck it in. So, two good goals from our point of view, but... Uh, given the way uh, Derby have been on the comebacks, I was a bit nervous when we conceded with about seven eight minutes ago. So frustrating. I mean, we we played so well in the first half and had four situations where I mean, keeper made a very good save off um, young Christian that we should have come in. You know, we should have come in front at half time. They got the goal. It was a great strike uh, by Kilbane. It's bad defending as all goals are, but. Uh, Second half, I thought we could do it, but we didn't play it as well. Second half, and uh, but then towards the end, studies came on, and we had I don't know four one on ones, and we we got one goal. But we, you know, I've never seen us so many times one on ones and, and not not capitalise on it. It was uh, very frustrating. Well, that does it for Saturday, but don't think we're done yet because on Sunday the schedule picked back up when Man City welcomed Middlesbrough to Main Road. The players coming out of the tunnel, under the pitch, all smiles there before the match got going. Joe Royal, Man City manager, looking miserable as usual, a bit nervous there. And they kicked this one off. Brian Robson, also a member of that uh, grumpy men club. He's not quite old enough to be in the grumpy old man club. But Man City on the move. Paolo Wanchup take the ball in down the side, and George Weah will try to get his head on it and send it into the net, but it sails high over the goal. And Wanchup taking the ball up the middle with a little burst of speed, creating some space, and he got a shot off there, but nothing serious. That was shut down. We had no score in the first half. On to second half action. Off the corner, Andy Campbell plays the ball in, meets the diving head of Gianluca Festa, and it's a goal fest uh, for Middlesbrough. Festa beats the defender to the spot and lets his head do the rest. Off a free kick here, the long ball played into the box. Girls' bad clearance falls to the feet of Danny Tiato, who puts it back to one chop. He somehow got to it before Gary Walsh did, and it's evened up at 1-1. One, one. one chop and his long legs do the trick here. Later, Jeff Whitley cracks a shot on goal that rings the bar. The rebound back to Alf Ingo Holland. His shot also blocked. Take a look at a great save by Gary Walsh, just getting a hand on it. It's a game of inches. The final in this one, Man City 1, Middlesbrough 1. On to Chelsea and Leicester City. The ball goes out wide to Neil Lennon at Stanford Bridge. Swings it into the box where Muzzy is it, is it, against his former club. Muzzy redirects it into the back of the net. And Leicester City had a 1-0 lead. In the second half, Chelsea on the move. Roberto Di Matteo finds the bouncing ball. Ball is it from 40 yards out, but Tim Flowers sends it away. It's been a rough week for Italians at Stanford Bridge. Steve Guppy has the ball outside. He spots Stan Collymore, who puts it in the net. Stan, the man, is so excited. I finally did something right for a change. Leicester City, 2-0. Stanford Bridge in shambles.
on to Upton Park for West Ham and Liverpool. Steven Gerrard is there. Steven Gerrard is online. Surfing the net. 1-0 pool after that. Later, Paolo Di Canio doing the work there. Nice dribbling. Nice ball handling. But at the end, they get nothing out of it. Liverpool dodged the bullet. On to the second half. Frederick Canute is brought down in the box right there. A closer look shows we should give that man a statue. An Oscar. He's good. Then Di Canio steps up. Penalty kick. Easily done. Chelsea wanted Di Canio earlier this week, but he is not for sale. 1-1 one, one was the final score. Good result against Liverpool, but still no win for the Hammers. Well, last year around this time,